Today, the Indiana State Department of Health announced 3,756 additional Hoosiers have been diagnosed with COVID-19. It's the most cases the state has reported on one day since the start of the pandemic. Demetrius Sanders is live in our newsroom. He joins us now with how state officials are responding as Indiana continues to grapple with this virus. Demetrius. Well, Mike, according to Indiana leaders, between mid-September and late October, the number of COVID-19 cases has jumped by more than 200% in the state. And they say the increase in numbers they are seeing is putting a strain on some of the state's health care workers. On a day where Indiana reported a record number of COVID-19 cases, health officials also announced that the state's seven-day positivity rate has increased by nearly 5% since September 16th. As that positivity rate increases what happens downstream and hospitalization rates go up unfortunately or we see more deaths state health commissioner dr christina box says hospital admissions have reached the highest level since the start of the pandemic she says this is having a direct impact on health care workers they are frankly exhausted they're quarantined or in a family quarantine, they're juggling home issues just like the rest of us. In response, state leaders say they are involved in ongoing discussions with hospitals. What we hear consistently is that their biggest challenge is having enough staffing. Some hospitals have already needed to rearrange their elective surgical procedures to accommodate their staffing needs. And to assist hospitals with the latest surge in cases, Box says she is calling on licensed health care providers to volunteer as a member of Indiana's health care reserve workforce. Frontline health care workers are exhausted. They need our support now more than ever, both emotionally and physically. Now, when asked why Indiana won't take a step back on its reopening plan, both Holcomb and Box say a county-by-county county approach will continue to be used. Holcomb also says hospital surge capacity is better than it was months ago during his stay-at-home orders. Mike. 